Welcome back guys and this is Shuman Bhattacharji from Shamus Biology and we are talking about the bioinformatics practicals and uh, many a times you require to know uh, the translatable format of your gene suppose you got the gene you don't know what kind of protein product it's going to make it's kind of a uh, kind of new gene that you've got or the sequence segment of your gene that you've got so you need to know you need to predict uh, that if, if if that gene is getting translated what kind of product what kind of protein that gene is going to make so to know that uh, you need to have a kind of tra translation and that is predictable translation right so you need to predict the translatability of that gene and how to predict the translate translatability to get that we are having a superb tool in XPASI and that is that is emboss translation tool this one so you just come to this expressive side just type in emboss translation tool or simply you can type it in uh, google that emboss translation tool it will bring you to EBI and in this emboss translation tool as you can see there are many variety of that tool one is the nucleotide sequence translation so you put the nucleotide sequence it will be translated into the proteins then the protein sequence back translation is also available that means you know the protein sequence you, you are working with a protein but you don't know the gene from where the protein is originated so in that case you just put the protein sequence there and back translate that to get uh, the predicted model of the gene sequence but uh, not 100% of the time it will uh, give you the correct answers because obviously it's a prediction so you may run it one, uh, once or twice and obviously for this all this kind of predictions in bioinformatics obviously it should be run comparatively and parallelly with experiments otherwise uh, not not single single prediction never gives you the correct answer it always take these things on your mind keep this in your mind completely that you need to run experiments parallelly with these predictions to finally uh, finally comment on something so once so here in this case we are having nucleotide sequence we don't know the what is going to be the protein sequence of that so we are we were we want to look for the nucleotide sequence translation and it is transec this is the actual software which is going to give us this right so just click on transec and it will bring us to the emboss translation sec so here you can paste your sequence simply so I just paste my sequence here and don't forget to don't forget to bring this header because I put it here in the raw format let's see whether it works on raw format because m many of the softwares uh, won't recognize raw format of the sequence raw format of the sequence means it is not having any kind of uh, FASTA header there so sometimes if, if it's not working just just copy the sequence with the FASTA header and put it so that it will run now uh, once we, we paste that one we need to select something that is the frame we can select the frame on on our own we can select it as one you can select as all six frames you can select two three minus one minus two just just stick to one that is the default and again uh, from the codon table because it will be based on some codon right so the some universal codon for vertebrates for other so here you can see standard codon is available vertebrate mitochondrial east mitochondrial so if you're looking for a mitochondrial gene obviously we will select vertebrate mitochondrial there right but in this case we are not uh, looking for any mitochondrial gene so you need to have at least a slight understanding of what kind of gene you are working with now suppose you don't know then in that case you need to select standard codon to, to look for it because there shouldn't be any anything else left for you right so you can uh, look at here you can just put here be notify me by mail and put your e email address there with the job title it will notify you once the job is done but we don't require it because it is very fast and to give you the results just now so click on submit button it will verify or validate your uh, your input once it's validated it will give you the result right so here you can see it yes and it's done and the result is given so here it is uh, second ago which is uh, just some nucleotide sequence now it is uh, it is a protein sequence right so among this protein sequence as you can see there are some stars or some gaps right the stars or these gaps are never known because because these things are not being cracked by the software yet because uh, it is based on some algorithm that uh, some particular amount of matching is there then they provide some proteins and so that so some some parts are missing that that can be a drawback but still uh, it it is fair it is fairly good it is fairly good i've tested it using my own research and that's good so you can use it in many of your occasions so simply you can show uh, hit show colors it will show you uh, those proteins in color coded uh, format 
uh, or you can revert back to this black uh, one mono color format any time you want it right so here we go the color coded format is provided you can download the sequence here directly so you can see the format is given you can just download the sequence easily that's how you can work with this uh, work with this uh, translatable tool and it will predict the translated version of your gene or translated version of that uh, of of uh, of your protein to get the gene right so that's pretty easy guys and i hope that's helpful thank you